There are advantages common to all these methods of cutting. Unlike machining methods that use mechanical force, they do not require a variety of perishable cutting tools to shape parts or elaborate work holding methods to clamp parts securely. These processes do, however, use consumables such as torch tips or gases, abrasive particles, or sometimes a significant amount of electrical energy. Thermal cutting processes share two main disadvantages. First, heat changes the structure of the metal adjacent to the cut, creating a heat-affected zone. This heat-affected zone is an area of processed material having a microstructure and properties that are different from those of the bulk material. Secondly, tolerances may be less accurate than with a hard tool machined cut depending on the cutting method and process parameters. Moreover, in some thermal cutting situations, labor-intensive secondary finishing operations may be required, such as removing slag or spatter from the part. There are also safety concerns regarding fuel gases, cutting flames, hot slag, electrical shock, high noise levels, and intense arc radiation or laser light. Additionally, eye, ear, or skin protection is advisable under certain operating conditions. Thermal and abrasive water jet cutting processes typically cut material on a two-axis XY table, but have also been teamed with articulated arm robots or five-axis gantry systems. Many types of robots can carry a plasma torch, laser, or abrasive water jet cutting head or a range of cutting applications. Sometimes cutting methods are combined with each other or with punch presses. Typically, multiple parts are cut from a metal sheet or other material. Arranging the parts on the sheet is called nesting. Nesting software helps programmers arrange parts and cutting paths to maximize the use of stock material, minimizing scrap during cutting. 